We're going to hear a lot of wedding bells this year, as a lot of K-drama actors have chosen to tie the knot. Shin Ju Won is one of them. Even though he's fairly new to the industry, he's been making waves since the start of his career. Ever since he appeared on Fashion King, it seems like casting agents have been lining up at his door and getting him to do all sorts of projects. The most attention he's gotten, though, is from portraying Dal Se in the hit drama Arth Dal Chronicles. In addition to his success in his professional career, he's also doing great in his personal life as he just got married in March. On February 14th, it was reported that he would be tying the knot on March 3rd, 2024 to his non-celebrity girlfriend. Even though the report didn't go too much into it, it was Ju Wan that revealed some details about his partner and his plans for the future. He told Osin that he was shocked a bit by all the people that contacted him to send their congratulations but felt grateful. As for his wife, Ju Wan said that the two have known each other for a while and are very compatible. Thankfully, his wife is very supportive of his career as an actor since she has a business in the same industry. He went on to say, I will not loosen the reins on my acting and want to become more mature and at ease. I want to do my best in the roles entrusted to me. I think this is the best I can do. We haven't seen any pictures of the bride yet, but it's said that she's gorgeous and works in the entertainment industry as a corporate member. By the way, Juwan was talking about her. You can tell that he's absolutely smitten and we couldn't be happier for the couple. Hopefully their happiness will also last for a long time. Shin Juwan isn't the only actor who had plans to get married in March as Lee sang yob has also confirmed that his wedding is taking place on March 24th. The news that he would be married first broke in September of 2023 when Sports Soul reported that he was planning to tie the knot in March of next year. His agency, UB Management, confirmed the statement, but since the couple had just started planning the wedding, they promised to relay more information once the specific schedule was confirmed. Then, on January 31st, the agency confirmed that the wedding would happen by the end of May, but they were very vague as to keep his private life private. His wife is also a non-celebrity, which calls for the ceremony to be as private as possible. However, we know some details about the big day, like the fact that Yoo Jae-suk is going to be hosting. Osun has also reported that the ceremony will be held at a hotel in Jamsil, but again, nothing has been confirmed as to protect the couple's privacy. What we do know is that Song Yob's fiance is putting everything together. He said that he feels guilty that he's no help for her, but it seems like the wife has no problem organizing and taking care of basically everything related to the wedding. As for the history behind the couple, it's straight out of a romance novel. Song Yob shared that when they first met, they made eye contact, and he vividly recalled her face from that moment, the moment she looked at him with her large, round eyes and the expression she made. After they started dating, it took the two less than a year before they came to the decision that they wanted to get married. While nine months may seem too short of a time to make a decision like this, Song Yob said that it all happened very naturally. In fact, they weren't even considering getting married when they first entered the relationship. But then, before they realized it, they were planning their wedding. And considering how Song Yob talks about his soon-to-be wife, it's not shocking that they fell head over heels for each other. He said that he and his fiance have a deep understanding of one another, with Song Yob going on to say, I find great comfort in her company. I feel relaxed and most importantly, I genuinely enjoy spending time with her. In my eyes, she's incredibly beautiful. He also went on to gush about her intellect and her communication skills. And even though she's younger than him, she's very wise. Song Yob mentioned that even when he acts foolish, she has a knack for steering him in the right direction, and he listens to her like she's his guiding star. If that's not the cutest thing you have ever heard, we don't know what is. Moon Ji-in also surprised everyone when she announced her marriage with none other than actor, comedian, and TV personality Kim Keeley. The official announcement of the wedding was made on January 29th of this year, with both agencies stating that the couple were going to tie the knot in May. The ceremony is going to be a small and intimate one, held in Seoul with only friends and family in attendance. Keeley expressed that he was very happy, saying he's found someone to share his life with. Ji-in shared the same feelings, mentioning how her future husband genuinely cares for her. She said, We will become a couple who tries to maintain the same mindset and attitude toward each other. The two also posted pictures of them together on Instagram, along with lovely messages directed towards each other. Ji-in said that she met someone who gave her the courage to live while laughing, even though it got hard sometimes. She also said that they're going to be the couple that loves each other and the people around around them. Keeley also posted a special Lunar New Year greeting on his Instagram, saying that his biggest goal in life had been to start a family and it was finally coming true. After thanking everyone for their support, he went on to say that he wanted to brag about his wife but didn't have enough space to talk about her. The photos themselves looked very cute but accompanied by the careful and loving captions dedicated to each other, it shows us that the two are a perfect couple and are going to thrive by each other's side. Actress Kim Bora has also recently announced her marriage much to everyone 
anyone's surprise, Kim Bora kicked off her career in 2005, stepping into the scene as a child actress in the drama wedding. She gradually built her reputation by taking on roles in various projects. Her career really took off in 2018, when she gained widespread acclaim for her portrayal of Kim Hyena in the drama Sky Castle. She even met her ex-boyfriend through her job. While working on Sky Castle, Bora had the chance to work with her then-boyfriend, Jo byung -gyu, and then form a romantic relationship with him. The two were initially seen together on several dates in February 2019, leading to speculation that they were in a relationship. At first, they denied the rumors, but shortly after, agencies of both actors confirmed the relationship, leading to congratulatory messages and support from fans. However, no matter how cute the couple was, they eventually ended up splitting after dating for a year and six months due to differences in their schedules. So, after knowing all this, imagine how confused everyone was when on March 5th, her agency released a statement announcing that she would be getting married to film director Joe Baroon in June of this year. The two met during the shooting of the movie Ghost Mansion in 2021 and after dating for three years, they decided to tie the knot. The event is set to take place privately, limited to close family and friends. We really can't wait to hear more about their new adventure together. Even though nothing has been confirmed so far, comedian Jun Hyun Moo also seems to have marriage plans this year. Hyun Moo used to be in a relationship with former KBS announcer Lee Hye Sung until February of 2022, when it was confirmed that the two had split up. However, even though we have no news of him being in a recent relationship, it seems like he has already gotten married. There have recently been reports that Hyun Moo was going to leave his position as MC on the popular show I Live Alone after his alleged engagement. Even though he hasn't confirmed anything, he was seen with a ring on his left hand in an episode of I Live Alone, and there are a lot of signs pointing towards a 2024 wedding. For example, in a variety show that he appeared on, a fortune teller hinted that he might tie the knot this year with Hyun Mu, asking if he'd be saying, I do, anytime soon. His agency denied that he would be leaving I Live Alone, but were very vague on the marriage rumors. They said that the ring doesn't mean what people might think, but this statement prompts the question, what are we supposed to think that an engagement ring on the left hand might mean? Similar to Jun Hyun Moo, there are rumors about actress Han Yesel being married, but no confirmation has been made yet. The situation with her is a bit ridiculous, though. She made a post on her Instagram on February 17th, which she captioned, my designated wedding photographer and also added, not yet, but hopefully soon. Since Yesol has been very open about her relationship since 2021, her followers on Instagram thought that she was hinting towards a wedding that would happen this year. However, once the news took off, she went to make a public statement and say, I am not preparing for my wedding. I was just playing with my friend. Although this was just a friendly post, we wouldn't be surprised if she ended up getting married anytime soon. Other Korean actors are also rumored to tie the knot, such as Kim Woo Bin and the actress Shin Min Ah, but nothing has been confirmed yet and and we're only left with them dropping hints. Let's hope that we get to see those two married soon.